internal impingement of the shoulder. Internal impingement is pathology on the undersurface of the rotator cuff, the joint side. Internal impingement is a pasta lesion plus a slab tear. Pasta is a partial articular surface supraspinatus tendon avulsion. You can see here the partial tear on the articular side. Slap tear is a tear at the top of the glenoid labrum. It is a superior labrum tear anterior to posterior of the biceps root. Internal impingement is different than subacromial impingement, which is a pathology underneath the acromion at the bursal site of the cuff. Internal impingement may involve a scarring and tightness of the posterior capsule. The patient will have diffuse pain on the posterior aspect of the shoulder. Internal impingement can lead to glenohumeral internal rotation deficit, GERD. Internal impingement is mainly seen in overhead throwing athletes. Thrower with shoulder pain should be evaluated for internal impingement. The condition usually occurs during the late cocking and early acceleration phase of throwing. The greater tuberosity of the humerus abuts against the posterior superior glenoid, which entraps the rotator cuff between the glenoid and the humeral head. These are the stages of throwing. Wind up. Early cocking, late cocking, acceleration, and follow through. Internal impingement occurs during late cocking and early acceleration. The posterior undersurface of the supraspinatus tendon impinges on the posterior superior glenoid labrum. This occurs during maximum abduction and external rotation of the shoulder with late cocking and early acceleration of throwing. Shoulder pain is worse with throwing. There would be a loss of more than 25 degrees of internal rotation at 90 degrees compared to the other side. The loss of internal rotation is due to posterior capsular contracture. External rotation increases, which may lead to anterior capsule and the glenohumeral ligament stretching and thinning. The center of rotation of the humeral head shifts posteriorly and superiorly, which lead to impingement of the labrum and the rotator cuff as the arm is abducted and externally rotated. GERD usually occurs in the throwing shoulders. The loss of internal rotation is measured in degrees, and the scapula must be stabilized during measurements. Imaging, Bennett lesion, equal to mineralization or exostosis of the posterior inferior glenoid, may be found on an AP view due to hypertrophy, scarring, and traction of the capsule. MRI arthrogram of the shoulder will show the pasta plus the slab lesion. It will show the rotator cuff partial articular pathology, the pasta lesion, and the labral pathology, the posterior superior labrum involvement. Then the treatment, non-operative treatment, avoid aggravating activity, Physiotherapy for six months and posterior capsular stretching with sleeper stretches. Also do therapy to strengthen the rotator cuff. Majority of patients will improve with non-operative treatment. Operative treatment is done when non-operative treatment fails. Arthroscopic debridement or repair of the labrum 
plus debridement of the undersurface of the rotator cuff lesion. Repair of the cuff tear if greater than 50%. Posterior capsular release in patient with GERD if conservative treatment fails. What is a sleeper stretch? The sleeper stretch is a posterior capsular stretch performed with internal rotation stretch exercise at 90 degree abduction with scapular stabilization.